Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I'll be showing you how to multicolor print on your Cobra 3 combo. Something that looks like this. Let's scratch to this topic. You want to do multicolor printing, just like me, how I print this Hulk. The green part, the purple, the black, and the white. Or color Hulk 3D printing. So let's not waste any time and get right into how to do this on any Qubit or Orca slicers Either one is pretty similar, but I will show you on any cubic and slicers next. Let's go. We are in any cubic slicer next. So I'm gonna go and upload a model right now. So I load in the Hulk model here, which I will link this in the description down below. So if you want to, you can go ahead and download this for yourself. Once you load in a model like this, you want to go into the top left corner up here and you want to add more filament so to do that you come to this tab called filament you go to the right and you should see a plus right here and it's called add one filament so i'm going to do that i'm going to add four color to this hook right here and i'm going to change the color based on what i want the color to be in this case green is my dominant color so i'm going to change it to green actually so I'm just gonna pick like a green hawk, hawk green like this. So I chose the first one as my green, which is my main color. That is just me. Because by doing this, you will have to paint less of the model. The second color, yeah, black is mine. Then the third color, I will choose white. And the fourth color, I will pick kind of purple-ish because that's his pants. Once I did all of my filaments right there, I'm gonna click my model. Go up to the toolbars up here and you want to click color painting right here. Oh, and before we get into the color painting, let's go back over to the left side here. If I remove all the filament, that option is gone, okay? There's no painting option anymore. As you can see up here, it's gone. The bucket is gone. Even if you click your model, there's no bucket for painting. So you must and have to add an extra color in order for this color painting tool to pop up. So let's add four colors again. So now we can click our model and then click the color painting up here. So we go into this painting mode. And like I said, I pick green as my first color because as you see here, everything is already green. So I don't have to paint his body, his arm, everything is already green. So now I want to paint the pants. There's not really an order here. I just do how I feel like. So if you have a simple model, the best tool I feel like is the fill tool. But I mostly use the fill tool except in very detailed model like this Hulk example right here. So I'm going to pick fill as detection. I'm going to check that smart angle fill. This you will have to play with because if you want to do a large amount of spot, you want the fill angle to be higher up like 40, 50 angle. And the section view, I don't really use this at all because there's really no point in using that. So I just basically mess around with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill his pants. If you have a big model like this, it's going to get kind of laggy. So if we hover over this like this, you can see that there's some line outs right here. So I'm going to click it. And yeah, look at that 31 angle feel is way too much. So I'm going to, you can control Z to undo or just erase all painting at this point. I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to lower this to like 20 and let's see, let's hover over this. That's still way too much. So I'm going to do 10 and yeah, look at that, all the outline. So if we click right now, still everything that's still way, way too much. So I'm just going to do five and look at that. We got his pants kind of the reason why it's painting everything is because this is way too detailed. If we zoom in right here, it's like this part, these two parts are connecting with each other. So in this case, we want a smaller field angle or a very detailed models like this. You kind of want to use a circle or the sphere pretty similar. So this is his pants. So I'm just going to paint and like this, I'm going to make the pen side bigger, just like that. Paint it, make it even bigger because this is all his pants. There's nothing else. It's kind of laggy, but you just got to play with it. And you just need to be very patient with this because if you want your model to turn out really nicely, the painting is the most important part. After that, you can just click print and your 3D printer will do the rest, which it does really well. So I can see that right here is his pants. It's ripped. So I'm going to paint around that part. 
something like this don't worry if you got some of the color that you don't want in the area like this you can overpaint them later something that is good with the sphere here is sometimes it can detect the edge and if you go over like this like that i'm over already it should be painting on the green but it doesn't paint on the green because it detect that there's an edge right there which is very nice but sometimes if it's like this it's kind of blending in together it don't really detect it did it perfectly because that's his leg right now and that's his pants so now let's say we got let's say we got some in there like that we can just pick the green up here again and make the pen a lot smaller zoom in and just paint the inside just like that and it feels very nice look at that that is looking so nice now so that's how you paint on any cubic by using these tools and the filament selections the pen size section view like i said section view don't really get what it does because it just do that and i don't really need that at all and yeah that's how you paint in any cubic slicer next and then once after we done this i'm gonna I'm just gonna paint his um eye. I'm I'm gonna paint his mouth just for a different color here, so that we can see the differences or see more examples like this. Where but it's actually black. Okay, so now we're gonna make it even smaller. That's way too small. Do about 0.4 ish, and then we're just gonna do his outer eye. Something like that. You just gotta play with it paint and then go back um yeah just some something like that and now we're gonna be um clicking slice plate um it's not allowing us so we're gonna click preview and the reason why it's not allowing us to do the slice plate is that it says that the prime tower is out of bounds not in the build plate because this model is way too big for the end cubic and since it's multicolor printing it's gonna do a prime tower like here a big prime tower so it's not inside the build plate but we will see after it has sliced okay there we go um okay the build plate is in i guess i'm getting a warning down here saying that the hulk and the tower is touching here so if you don't mind that you can just go ahead and print it but you can basically just move the tower in the prepare and you just click prepare and we can see the tower here we can just click it and move it but i'm not gonna do that because it's gonna take a long time to load i have four colors right now the green purple white and black his eye look at that we just did one tiny dot and it's working so this eye is kind of have so if you want to you can paint a little bit more up here make the white a little bit higher in the painting process but i'm just gonna leave it at that because this is just for examples and we can look at the print time right here it's gonna take one day and three hours wow that is so long and here's a setting that's very important for multicolor printing it's gonna save you time and filament i don't think any cubic slicer snacks has this option anymore because it's based on orca slicer so i'm gonna go to the old version of any cubic and just show you this setting because i cannot find it anywhere here so i'm just gonna load in a random model in here that i make so if you want to do multicolor printing in any cubic slicer the old version right there's the painting up here so you just click painting and then you just do the same thing it has pretty similar things i'm gonna do the height range just to make it easier that yellow look at that do two color three color let's just do three color i'm gonna click preview and look at that so that's how you color paint but there's this one setting here that we can find here multiple filament and right here look at that the the white tower so if we set this to one here which i think it did set to one but i'm not sure because i haven't used this for a long time and i think i changed it to default if this is set on one here we can go back here we can do the preview g code and look at that look at this prime tower right here it's doing all the white even with the yellow and the pink so how is this a problem well it's gonna do this if you do this it's gonna do the white and then it's gonna change color to the yellow do the first layer okay and we go to the second layer it goes back to the white color like that that's the second layer we don't see the first layer because it sucks but it goes back to the white color and if we look at this here what essentially it does white and then change color yellow 
and then change color white again so that's very bad so you really want to put this to default that will set it to so that it will wipe on the color that is printing same thing with this even the ref support material just just to default it's gonna save you lots of filming times and headache and look at that it starts with yellow it does the prime tower it prints it goes back and do the prime tower print it does not change color so that's exactly what you want to do oh my gosh are you kidding me if you go to that it locks you out and if you go to here it locks you out on the other one by the way okay so i'm just gonna use the paint right here and down for his pants as an example like that um that's not correct but i found this is a really fast way of doing it so do this then you can just color his hand but whatever i'm gonna slice it in work a slicer or in any cubic slicer next it will have automatically have that option where it just do the prime tower and paint with the same color it's not doing all green for the prime tower it's doing based on the color that's printing so which is very nice and yeah there you go as you saw there multicolor printing using the cobra 3 combo for you to get your 3d model painted slice it then take a quick look and see if all the colors are at the correct point in your 3d model and if you liked it you can just go ahead and print it on your cobra 3 which is very easy to do on any cubic slicers next oh yeah that'll be it for this video of me showing you how to multicolor print on your cobra 3 if i miss anything let me know in the comments down below if you still have questions and multicolor printing is very amazing just like how this thing turns out but the downside to it is that it takes a lot of time and weighs so much filaments but that'll be it for this video thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3d printing